With 16 wins in 24 categories, no one could possibly deny the BBC was the big victor of the BAFTA TV Awards. The television network walked away with major wins for Peaky Blinders as Best Drama Series and Undercover, Britain's Immigration Secrets as Best Current Affairs Programme. There was also major success for the BBC's new only channel BBC Three, which launched in 2016. The channel, which is hosted through BBC iPlayer, took home four awards including Best Comedy A Comedy Entertainment Programme, Best Single Drama, Best Scripted Comedy, and Best Female Performance in a Comedy Programme. There was also a surprise victory for retired football player Rio Ferdinand. A documentary about his family life Rio Ferdinand, being mum and dad picked up a win for Best Single Documentary, BAFTA TV Award winners 2018, drama series Peaky Blinders BBC, winner The Crown Netflix End of the F Asterisk Asterisk Asterisking World Channel 4 Line of Duty BBC One Leading Actress Molly Windsor, Three Girls BBC One, winner Claire Foy, The Crown Netflix Sinead Keenan, Little Boy Blue ITV Tandy Newton, Line of Duty BBC One Leading Actor Sean Bean, Broken BBC, winner Jack Jack Rowan, Born to Kill Channel 4 Joe Cole, Hang the DJ, Black Mirror Netflix Tim Piggott Smith, King Charles III BBC Comedy and Comedy Entertainment Programme Murder in Successville BBC 3, Winner Taskmaster Dave The Last Leg Channel 4 Would I Lie to You BBC One Sport The Grand National ITV, Winner Anthony Joshua V Vladimir Klitschko Sky Six Nations, Wales v England BBC One UEFA Women's Euro Semi-Final Channel 4 International The Handmaid's Tale Channel 4 Winner Big Little Lies Sky Atlantic Feud, Bet and Joan, BBC Two, The Vietnam War, BBC News coverage, The Rohingya Crisis, Sky, Winner, The Battle for Mosul, Sky, The Grenfell Tower Fire, Channel 4, The Grenfell Tower Fire, ITV, Current Affairs, Undercover, Britain's Immigration Secrets, Panorama, BBC One, Winner, Raped, My Story, Channel 5, Syria's Disappeared, The Case Against Assad, Dispatches, Channel 4, White Right, Meeting the Enemy, Exposure, ITV, Supporting Actor, Brian F. O'Byrne, Little Boy, Blue, ITV, Winner, Adrian Dunbar, Line of Duty BBC One Anupam KH The Boy with a Top Knot BBC Two Jimmy Simpson USS Callister Black Mirror Netflix Miniseries Three Girls BBC One Winner Howard's End BBC One The More Side ITV The State Channel 4 Reality and Constructed Factual Love Island ITV Winner Celebrity Hunted Channel 4 Old People's Home for Four-Year-Olds Channel 4 The Real Full Monty ITV Supporting Actress Vanessa Kirby The Crown Netflix Winner Anna Friel Broken BBC One Julie Hesmond Haig Broadchurch ITV TV Live Hill, Three Girls BBC One Specialist Factual Basquiat, Rage to Riches BBC Two, Winner Blitz, The Bombs That Change Britain BBC Two, Blue Planets Two BBC One, Elizabeth is Secret Agents BBC Two Factual Series Ambulance BBC One, Winner Catching a Killer Channel Four Drugs Land BBC Three Hospital BBC Two Single Drama Murdered for Being Different BBC Three, Winner Against the Law BBC Two, Hang the DJ, Black Mirror Netflix King Charles the Third BBC Two Scripted Comedy This Country BBC BBC Three, Winner Catastrophe Channel 4 Chewing Gum Channel 4 Time Wasters ITV 2 Virgins Must See Moments Blue Planet 2, Mother Pilot Whale Greaves BBC One, Winner Love Island, Stormzy Makes a Surprise Appearance ITV 2 Game of Thrones, Viserion is Killed by the Night King Sky Atlantic Doctor Who, The 13th Doctor Revealed BBC One Love Manchester, Ariana Grande Sings One Last Time BBC One Line of Duty, Huntley's Narrow Escape BBC One Entertainment Performance Graham Norton the Graham Norton Show BBC One, winner Adam Hill, The Last Leg Channel 4 Michael McIntyre, Michael McIntyre's Big Show BBC One Sandy Toxvig, Chi BBC Two Male Performance in a Comedy Programme Toby Jones, Detectorists BBC Four, winner Adam Chaundry, People Just Do Nothing BBC Three Rob Brydon, The Trip to Spain BBC Samson K.O., Famalum BBC Three, Female Performance in a Comedy Programme Daisy May Cooper, This Country BBC Three, winner Anna Maxwell Martin, Motherland BBC Two, 2, Sharon Holgan, Catastrophe Channel 4, Sean Gibson, Peter Kay's Car Share Channel 4, Single Documentary, Rio Ferdinand, Being Mum and Dad, BBC One, Winner Chris Packham, Asperger's and Me, BBC Two, Louis Theroux, Talking to Anorexia, BBC Two, One Deadly Weekend in America, BBC Three, Entertainment Programme, Britain's Got Talent, ITV, Winner Anton Dex, Saturday Night Takeaway, ITV, Michael McIntyre's Big Show, BBC One, The Voice UK, ITV's Open Continuing Drama, Casualty, BBC One, Winner 
Center, Coronation Street, ITV, Emmerdale, ITV, Hollyoaks, Channel 4 short form program, Morgana Robinson's Summer Sky Arts, Winner Britain's Forgotten Men, BBC3 Eating with My Ex, BBC3 Are Like BBC3, An Unsurprising Victory for the BBC, Still, Before Lord Tony Hall Breaks Out the Fancy Champagne, It's Worth Remembering That the BBC's Dominance of the BAFTAs Was Almost a Given. At this year's awards show, there were 98 nominees. That's four in each category and six in the Virgin Must See Moments category. Of those, the BBC was by far the most nominated. Across BBC One, Two, Three, and Four, the company got 51 nominations, more than every other television network combined. By contrast, ITV's channels had 16 nominations, Channel 4's had 17, Netflix and Sky's channels had six nominations apiece, and both Dave and Channel 5 got one each. The BBC's 52% of nominations is hardly comparable with their viewership. According to Barb Ratings, on any given week in 2018, the BBC's total viewership makes up around a third of Britain's total TV watching. It's also worth noting that the Barb figures do not take into Netflix or Amazon viewers, so the BBC's viewership may be an even smaller percentage of total television viewers. Either the BBC's programming is remarkably better in quality than its rivals, or the BAFTA committee simply gives it unfair amount of attention compared to what audiences think. It seems obvious which angle the BBC will be taking on last night's events. Editors Pick Entertainment Featured